All right. What are we doing? There's some interesting stuff here. I think I have to take Cultivator. Cultivator is so strong in, in this set or in this like draft format. Cultivator is just too strong. I, I think that it's just like way too strong. I think there's so many plows, so much plow support that could exist in draft seven to 10 that Cultivator just has to be insane. Um, if we don't see plow support here in the ox, we can take it in the miner. So I, I think that Cultivator just has to be too strong here. It's kind of unfortunate because like Manservant is like fun. I think there's stuff we could do with Manservant potentially, but we just have to pick Cultivator here. It's just too, too good. A little bit too good. Ooh, don't tempt me with a small scale farmer. Don't even tempt me with a small scale farmer. The Grickle would release new drafts at six months. Fair. Yeah, if, if there were new sets like every six months and, and I could like innovate on things, then I would definitely have a big advantage, I think. Because I, I like, I mean, to be fair, though, like there's other people who were also really good at innovating. Like definitely like Gray and I are, are definitely like innovators. Like Gray is really good at innovating um, as well on, on things. But yeah, I, I think that like knowing how to there's definitely a skill in like getting new information, learning how to innovate with it and like. I played a lot of uh, Agricola. Plowman, is Plowman good here? I'm kind of thinking about doing some Thresher nonsense. I think Thresher can be fun with Cultivator too. You could definitely do some interesting stuff with like Thresher, Cultivator nonsense. I think Charcoal Burner is weaker in draft seven of 10. Yeah, I'm thinking about Thresher. I think Plowman is okay, but I think that if we can get a plow, that's just better than Plowman. I think Thresher sounds fun. I, I, I'm kind of willing to try it. I think this sounds fun. This is like a more fun plow combo than Plowman. Yeah, I also don't like Plowman at all. Um, seasonal Worker, I've not seen any Day Labor cards. The Dulcinera expansion pack. I don't, I don't remember the cards in the Dulcinera expansion pack, but I'm sure that they're good. Home Brewer is silly. I'm gonna wheel Home Brewer, so I'm not gonna pick it. Um, I'm just gonna pick Chimney Sweep. Chimney Sweep is like by far the best card in this pack. It's just too good. Um, I think that, yeah, Plowman's fine. Uh, Baker, I, I don't think I need Baker. I mean, I, I probably will wheel Baker, right? I could take Baker. Is Baker that good here? I don't think Baker's that good here. I mean, Baker's like, okay, but I think Homebrewer is better than Baker here. I'd rather have Homebrewer than Baker. I think Homebrewer does more than Baker on average it, with this type of a setup, so. But whatever, Chimney Sweep's just too good. Baker is okay. I mean, it's okay. Definitely, well, one nice thing about this draft format specifically, Baker has 0% chance of getting taken because the only reason that you ever take Baker in a normal draft format is with Potter Ceramics. And here, Potter Ceramics can't get taken um, because, like, there's no miners here, so. Yeah, Baker could be good here. How good is Clay Carrier here? So Seed Seller, we can't pick. Organic Farmer, we could pick. Oh, arranging your fields in a Z shape, that's very funny. That's very, very funny. Baker's in, I mean, it gives you too many bake actions, so that's the biggest problem is that you get too many bake actions from it. Um, is Brushwood okay here? Clay Carrier is really interesting. If you stack a lot of food, Clay Carrier is like completely insane, and I'm tempted to speculate on it considering that there's a Baker here. Hmm. God, this is a good pack. This is a really good pack. Organic Farmer is also just nuts. This is a really good pack. Organic Brushwood and Clay Carrier can all be really good here. Oh, man. I'm going to take the point ceiling. I, I, I'm going to prioritize the point ceiling here. Like, maybe this is wrong, but I think it's fine here to prioritize point ceiling. I think that's totally fine. <laughs> is Sugar Baker? Is Sugar Baker good? Yeah, Brushwood's pretty good, too. I mean, Brushwood's totally fine. How good is Sugar Baker? I probably have to take Stable Master. No, I don't think. I, don't, I even I can't make Sugar Baker work. Sugar Baker is so bad. It's such a bad card. It's okay with Thresher because every time with Thresher I use grain utilization, I can buy a grain. 
It's so bad, though. Like, is three food and a point a good action? No. <laughs> is three food and a point a good action? Absolutely not. It's a terrible action. I might take the Stable Master. I think Stable Master is by far the best card. Yeah, it's only three or four points if it works. If, if it works. And it's not even good. I think I think it's so bad. I think Stable Master is... Or Sugar Baker is a really bad card. It's really, really bad. That's a card that, like, almost made my top ten list. I was very close to putting it on my top ten list, but there's cards I think are that are, like, worse. <sighs> oh, we wield Plowman. Plowman's not terrible here. I'll pick Plowman. Th there's a chance I play Plowman here. It's going to depend on what happens in my, in my minor improvements pack, but definitely Plowman could be playable here. Could definitely play Plowman here. We just have point ceiling. We just have... This is a game where we're doing, like, pretty reasonable things. We just have farming plus point ceiling. Wow, someone took the Baker. That's interesting. Someone took the Baker. All right, there's no Bell Founder shenanigans. That's good. Would I rather have Home Brewer or Stone Carver? I actually think Home Brewer is quite good here. I think Home Brewer could be quite good here. I, I think we can ignore the Plowman and just Thresher Cultivator early on and then just try and um, try and get lots of food with the Home Brewer here. I think Home Brewer could be good here. Stone Carver is always decent, but... All right, well, easy clap. <laughs> well, I'm sad I didn't take the uh, Brushwood Collector now. Now I'm sad I didn't take the Brushwood Collector, but whatever. Yeah, so is a pretty bad thing. It's pretty bad. Field Fence is also notably really good. Um, just a really good pack. Uh, field Fence is Mini Pasture, Milk Jug, all really good cards. Would be very happy to have any of them come back. Three Field might be interesting here too, but that's okay. Uh, Baker? No, I don't. I, I think Homebrew is better than Baker here. I think for me, with the Thresher, Homebrew is going to be better than Baker. Carpenter's Parlor is also very nice with this hand, honestly. Carpenter's Parlor could definitely go a long way here. Yeah, I really want a Cultivator Thresher. Cultivator Thresher sounds really juicy. I, I think that Cultivator Thresher is going to be great here. And I just sow a bunch of grain and then home brewer for, for food. I think that seems good. Yeah, I, miss, I missed out on Brushwood, unfortunately. But whatever. Organic Farmer can't be that bad. Uh, Lone Pit's very scary here. Lone Pit is really, really scary here. Um, Turn Rest Plow has to be too good. I don't have any, like, real plow support. I think I can play this later on in the game and have it be insane here with the Cultivator. Um, having a plow with Cultivator is just too good anyways. The Lone Pit is very scary, though. The only um, Day Labor card I saw was Seasonal Worker. That's the only Day Labor card I saw. I'm not scared of Seasonal Lone Pit. I am scared of Assistant Tiller Seasonal Lone Pit. I think that's a lot scarier, but I think well, Turn Rest Plow is going to be fine here. I'm totally fine with Turn Rest Plow here. That's that's a totally fine card. It combos with my Cultivator stuff. I think that's totally okay here. The only way I'll be sad is if Swing Plow comes, but th this is a good plow to have. This is an interesting pack. This is a pack where Small Greenhouse could be, like, really, really good. Small Greenhouse could be really good here. Get, getting a, access to veggies when I'm already planning on taking, like, lots of fields early on as, as a source of food and stuff, I think that's, like, really, really important. And this music got so loud. Turn it down a little bit on my end. Oh, drinking trough. I missed the drinking trough. There's a drinking trough in there. Um, I think I'm going to take small greenhouse. I think I think this is a draft where small greenhouse is, like, really, really good. I think small greenhouse can be really good with this draft. I don't think I'm going to plowman. I think we're skipping plowman. Yeah, I like ox than miners. It's kind of fun. It, it means that, like, you have to speculate a lot more on combos, and I kind of like that. It also means that if you get into a lane, you can typically stick in that lane and not get blocked by anyone else. Like, like if I dedicate to taking all the day labor, or like, you know, if I take all the day labor cards in the first pack, then in the second pack, no one's really going to hate the day labor cards, so. Oh, no. Mmm. <laughs> well, I wish I had this brushwood collector now. Now I'm very sad we don't have brushwood. Trying to make storks work. Me, me trying to make storks work. Just try to do 5D chess to make the storks nest work. Uh... Do I care if someone else storks here? They're not going to have the fornade. 
I think that with my hand, there's a lot of miners I already want to play. I think that I don't mind if someone else wants to try Storksing. I don't think that I care about that. I think if someone else wants to play Storks Nest here, I really don't mind. I have enough miners that are good, and I think in draft 7 of 10, your miners are going to tend to be pretty good anyways. I think that Storks is not quite good enough for this hand. My hand doesn't really accelerate my building at all. This is not a good Storks hand. I'm going to pick the Pond Hut. I don't think Foreign Hate is good either here. I think I'd rather have... I think my food is going to be totally fine between the Cultivator Thresher stuff. But the problem is that the five don't accelerate my building. I don't I don't get any wood from them. I don't get any food from them. I don't get any feeding from them. And when you're playing a Storks game, one of the main errors is when you play occupations that don't accelerate your building or give you a good feeding engine. I don't think that this gives me enough of a feeding engine for me to consider Storks. I also don't think Fornade is great either. Yeah, I don't want to lock myself into Fornade here either. This is definitely not a draft where I really want to lock myself into Fornade. Yeah, these are really bad for Storks. I agree. Um, Milk Jug Wield. I love Milk Jug so much. Um, I do think Three Field could be potentially really good with this hand. The Milk Jug's just so good, though. I, I can't. I don't think I can pass a Milk Jug. Milk Jug is just too insane here. Milk Jug is, like, way too insane with this hand. It's way too good here. I think they do. I think they do have to accelerate building much. I, I think they do have to accelerate building. I, I think that, like, if you're playing Ox without either feeding yourself or accelerating your building or both, you're in uh, in bad shape. What were the first packs? Um, Yeah, you can go to the VOD and see. <laughs> I think I can't. I can't recollect everything from, from uh, yeah, I think Milk Jug's just too good. I think it's just too good of a card. I can't pass Milk Jug here. I can't, I, yeah, I can't do that to myself. Um, well, these are useless. Maybe last was okay. Yeah, it was, it was Cultivator Pack 1. Yeah. Later Storks can work. I, I just don't see it working with this hand. Needing Reed for the Storks is rough, too. I don't have any extra ways to get Reed. Like, we probably hook someone else up with some Stork stuff, but it's fine. No, Tiller's not enough food for Storks. Yes, Tiller is not a food engine for Storks. You you need stuff that, like, Stonecutter is really good with Storks. Stonecutter is, like, really good with Storks. Waterworker, yeah, Waterworker is good with Storks, but, but yeah, it, it, Waterworker can definitely be good with Storks. Um, Fishing Net could maybe be okay here. Fishing Net's, like, never terrible. Game Trade's also, like, never too terrible, but because I have Milk Jug, I probably want to take Cows anyways. Maybe I prefer Game Trade. All my reads going to Building Rooms of the Carpenter's Parlor. Game Trade could actually be decent in the late game here. Yeah, read is a huge key for it. Um, blueprint is awful. <laughs> uh, recycled Brick is... Okay... Recycled Brick can't be that bad. Wildlife Reserve is kind of interesting with this Organic Farmer. It can't be that good, though. I do like having extra animal space organic, but there's no way it's that good. I'm just going to pick the Recycled Brick here. I think Recycled Brick is fine. Man, we're playing such a normal game. That's so boring. Although Cultivator, we're doing some cool Cultivator stuff here, so that's good. Small scale. I have to take Reedstone food here. Reedstone food is very, very important for this hand. I have a Carpenter's Parlor. I have to get Reedstone food here. Reedstone food, like, the most important action on this board for me. Large Bacon Strips trying to emulate my game from last time, I think. I think they're trying to emulate my game. They're small scaling. Maybe not. But if they're small scaling, then I'm happy that I, I shipped a... Uh... Okay, so we have seasonal... We have day labor combos. We have a small scale farmer. All very interesting so far. This means I should get two wood. Two wood's the, the action that I want the most here. Two wood's definitely the action that I want the most here. Yeah, got two wood. Nice. Uh, yeah, so, oh, start player. Interesting. Very interesting. Akin to start player is, is a pretty interesting line. Nice. You won an Agricola game. Oh, yeah, no problem at all. 
no problem at all i'm glad that uh my videos were able to help you in some way and my my streams i'm glad that i was able to help you in in some way i i definitely have noticed that the community is getting a lot better like everyone's getting a lot better at agricola which is great to see it's very it's very cool to see that everyone's getting a lot better at agricola um so i want awk next turn awk is the action that i really want um I'll take a reed stun food if I get it, but if I don't get reed stun food, I'm awking. Oh, private forest on turn one. I'll, never a fan of private forest on turn one. I, I think private forest on turn one is typically a trap. It's okay with seasonal if you're planning on day laboring a lot, but I think that typically it's a trap to try and to private forest without like a patron or something like that. I think patron is like the only time where I, I defend private forest on turn one, but reed should be available by the way. Someone definitely has a brushwood collector. You're the exception. <laughs> Hey, that's fair. That's super fair. Having fun is, is what's important. Having fun is the most important thing. A large bacon strip doesn't care about reedstone food. I guess that that means reedstone food is all mine. But fortunately, there's stockpiling wood. This is a two-room collector game. This feels like a two-room collector game to me, which is fine. I'll just take reedstone food. Reedstone food is a great action. I will, I will absolutely snap every single reedstone food that I get. Getting to start player here would be really nice to while we're day laboring because we see this is the problem with with private force is that having to day labor here instead of playing an awk when I know that they have a clay pit in their hand is really bad for them. It's very unfortunate that they couldn't play an awk here. Oh, house steward's great for me. We love to see that. Yeah, it's it's a great action. It's a very 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 good action. It's very very good. Reedstone food is, is uh it's the bee's knees. What is large bacon strip gonna do? This feels like a um a collector game to me. It feels like they're going two room collector, which honestly would be pretty good for me. I, I need a lot of uh I definitely want to be the only person building rooms here. Okay, start player. I mean I guess I'll just take two more wood. Can't be that bad. Potter ceramics, okay. Oh wow, they, they someone took a baker and there's a potter ceramics in this draft. That's a little scary. Um all right, I'll just take two wood. I have plenty of food here. I don't need to rush anything. I do want to eventually play occupations. Maybe a childless in this draft too. Could definitely be a childless. God, two wood per round. That's so good. It, it just feels like that to me. What do I do here? I need to get oxen play. I want to get Cultivator Thresher into play really bad so that way I can start plowing with actions. I think it's pretty important for me to do that. Um, I also just want to play Carpenter's Parlor and build a bunch of rooms. Like, I could go three wood, start player, Carpenter's Parlor, uh, take two, read, and then build two rooms. I could do something along those lines that seems pretty broken to me. Yeah, this is the part where I have to, like, figure out how to navigate this game. Because I wanted early aux to get my feeding engine going. I don't necessarily need them, though. I can definitely make things work without the early aux. Like, three wood here is tempting because I can go three wood start player and then take um, reed and and, reeds and and build two rooms here. And I think that might just be better than um, anything else I could be doing. The main problem is my start players are going to suck after that point. I need one awk in play for this small greenhouse. I really want to play this small greenhouse here. I think building two rooms is probably a mistake. Like, it seems good now, but I should be able to get two read very easily anyways. I'm going to claim that Cultivator here is fine. Yeah, there's a lot of food in this game. I agree with that. I mean, uh, there's not that much food because the seasonal worker person is going to take a lot of food out of the game. But yeah, I, I think I think this is fine. I, I think that this is fine. And then I'm going to... Uh, we're going to get this thresher up eventually and start threshing things. I guess I can plow a field if I really need to on the wheel here. I want to start player into two read. That's what I really want to do. Really would like to start player into two read. Charcoal burner is pretty good. That's uh, pretty decent. Yeah, star player to two read has to be insane here. Has to be nuts. Yep, this is a hearth. Fireplace, interesting. Interesting to take a bunch of clay and then build a fireplace here. That's very weird. I don't know if I understand that with the power ceramics. 
don't know if I understand that all. Yeah, this is where I start player for sure. Start player is so good here. Start player for two read is just like so absurd here. It's super duper absurd. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I should go for a double build here or not. I, I guess I have to decide that at some point. Not getting a clay oven is pretty brutal. Like red is gonna have all the food in the game. One one problem with power ceramics lines with this is is um you know not being able to have all the food in the game. Like it's a little bit rough. I don't know if I should go for two rooms. Should I go for two rooms here? How how good is two rooms here? I don't actually think two rooms is that good. The biggest problem is that if I don't take the two read, then JMC can immediately build a room, and that sounds really bad to me. But I also have the read that they have the um the what's it called here? I have the read that they have the uh brushwood collector here and if they have brushwood collector like because i know there's a brushwood collector in this draft i have the read that they have it that means that you know taking two read is not going to be amazing for me here i think i'd rather just focus on farming as weird as it sounds like i think i'd rather just take four wood build a room just very slowly focus on farming here I think that my occupation or my minor improvements are so good if I get them up early on. I'd rather just focus on those. I'd rather just take wood and focus on those here. I think that going like four wood into four food is fine. Going four wood into build is fine. Like all of those things are totally fine for me. I just need to focus on my miners. I got to get my miners up at some point. I think getting my miners up is really important. Yeah, I, I think that this is for sure brushwood collector. I I, I think that this is like a hundred percent brushwood collector here. Hundred percent. No one's going for the freaking read. That's so insane. Um, I don't have to build right now. I could take four food now instead of building. That might just be better. I want to go small greenhouse into pond hut here, I think. Oh, actually, turnrest plow is really good right now, too. Turnrest plow is actually crazy right now, too. Yeah, the turnrest plow is actually nuts, too. It's funny that I don't want this read for building two rooms at once. I think building two rooms at once is a mistake here because it's going to set me too far behind. On I want to go turnrest plow and small greenhouse uh, uh, as my miners when I grow. I think that's too good. So I could play a thresher here and try and hit five food next turn. Um, I could build this turn to force We Three Kings to start player. If I build and nobody else start players, then I get a growth. And that seems pretty valuable to me. I'm going to do that. I'm going to force them to start if they want they want growth here. We're just going to build a room here. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think that's okay. If I don't get a food action here, it's pretty fine. This has got to be Brushwood Collector. I mean, it's got to be, or Brushwood. Yeah, Brushwood. No, it's Assistant Tiller. Okay. Well, I Assistant Tiller is pretty good here, but without Brushwood, I'm not very scared of their game. They have no way to build immediately. We think he's going to start player. That makes sense. There's a Fornade. Okay, Fornade's great. That means that there's going to be a ton of food in this game. I don't understand. Yeah, I mean, Large Bacon Strip has a ton of food in this game. They have so much food. <laughs> they have a stupid amount of food in this game. Their food is, like, in such insane shape. Yeah, I, I, this this five, this food stack on Traveling Players, I can wheel for literally ever. I can literally flo float this food forever. A stable? No, I, I don't care about the stable at all. I mean, I, if I get this huge food stack, it's going to be fine anyways. Um, if I get this turn rest plow into play, it's going to be fine. Like, I, I have a lot of things that are going to be fine here. All right, Family Grow Flips, that's totally fine by me. No one can build immediately here. Not having to defend uh, growth here would be really nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mini pasture. Okay, mini pasture is great. That means that large bacon strip is going to have to defend. I might have to take three read here, actually. T three read here might just be insane. Because um, I can go like three read into five food into um, grow small greenhouse or something like that. That seems completely insane to me. Like if I build this turn, nobody else can grow next turn, which is completely nuts. Parts fireplaces and ovens. That's super funny. Um, yeah, I'll take three read here. Three read's got to be ridiculous here. It means that JMC can't uh, build... 
Is this fine? I have to do one... God, I wish I had another Auk in play. I had one more Auk in play. Mm. Oh, Jamesy has a Storks. I can't let anyone else have this three read here. I, I literally can't let anyone else have this three read here. It's too it's too detrimental to my game to let anyone else have this three read. But I, I think that the three read is too good for me. I think it's a little bit too good for me. I, I just want to be able to... I would like to be able to family growth here without starting player. I think being able to family growth here without starting player would be completely insane. I think that would be completely dumb. Carpenter. Yeah, they, they have the Stork's Nest. Yeah, they're, they're Stork's in here. They, they just have to be. This doesn't make any sense without Stork's Nest here. But, but taking the read to prevent other people from building is really good for my game. So what am I hoping to wheel here? I actually think Auk is better for me than five food. I really want the Auk into play to be able to play Turn Rest Plow. Turn Rest Plow is going to turn on my food so hard because it turns the plow into a three food, three wood action, which is just like completely nuts. Five food goes. Okay, that's totally fine. Yeah, I actually think this is going to be okay. I, I could just take a food action at some point. So yeah, I could play Thresher here. Um, I don't have to build now. No, I can I can table my building till next turn. Yeah, so next turn I could go build grow if I want to and, and get a uh, guaranteed growth the next turn. My food's going to be a little bit rough if I do that, but it shouldn't be that bad. I guess I can build grow pond hut maybe. Maybe I don't have to build next turn. I, I probably have to build next turn. I probably have to go build grow. Grow Pond Hut looks really, really good, though. Well, I, Grow Plow also looks good. Yeah, everything's a little scary here. The, the food situation's getting a little bit scary. Because I really need Fishing, I really need Plow on, on the turn 7. I really need both those actions. But I think I'm actually willing to beg to get everything up. Start play Writing Desk. I like that. They're defending my growth next turn. So I... I well, my growth is already defended next turn. But if no one can threaten build this turn... That's pretty good for me. Um, JMC is always playing an Auk and then building rooms, right? That's always happening. Yeah, if I grow first, I have options. The question is, what do I grow with? It's got to be with Plow. I have to grow Plow here. Grow Plow's got to be it. Growing with Plow has to be the line. Or is it grow pond at the line? No, it's gotta be grow plow. Because I need the wood too. The wood's also important for me. It's kind of tricky actually. Okay, this is fine. This is for sure the right line. Brainstorm the title of my Agricola memoir. What would that be? <laughs> I don't know what that would be. Begging the question. Ox are us. There's a brushwood collector. Makes sense. So I think large bacon strip is going reedstone food here. I actually think if large bacon strip um, takes a reedstone food here, I let large bacon strip grow in front of me. I let them go reedstone food to grow because my food is a little bit too tight here to be able to do anything. Because I need the four food really bad. I, I need the four food like really, really bad here. I also need pl plowing for wood actions to, to get extra wood here. God, not getting the small greenhouse in play is actually a little bit of a tilt. The small greenhouse would be really, really nice here, but I can't quite get it into play. Green builds here. No, I'm going to build this turn. Yeah, I'm building this turn. Um, but I think if large bacon strip takes reedstone food, then I'm just going to let them grow in front of me. I, I just, because building here protects my ability to um, grow whenever I feel like it. Like I can grow in round eight if I really want to.
My short-term food is fine. My long-term food is really bad. Okay, so there's a reed stone food. Yeah, so I can just take a build here, allow large bacon strip to build next round, and then I just don't grow. I, I will just take a, uh, a plow or a four food action instead and just not grow to make it so that my food is okay. And then I, I can just make my food okay after that. So I build a room here for sure. Yeah, this is all fine, I think. I think this is all good. I think everything's going to be pog here. I think everything's going to work out. The question is, what's my long-term feeding? Long-term feeding is, like, really rough here. Um, I guess home brewer could be good. I guess if I get plow, fishing, home brewer, that could be a line. Not being able to play the pond hut is pretty annoying, though. That's pretty annoying to not be able to play the pond hut here. Pretty annoying indeed. Wow, We Through Kings has 18 wood. What the actual heck is that? <laughs> they have 18 wood in their supply. That's so funny. God, there's eight clay sitting there too. I would really, really like that eight clay that's there, but I don't think there's any way I could possibly prioritize it. This build, yeah, I'm going to let them grow. I I'm just going to let them grow in front of me. I, I can't possibly defend a growth here. I have too many other actions that I want to do. Why did I not, why did I not what? Yeah, I just let them grow in front of me. That's totally fine. I just let them grow in front of me. Um, is anyone taking this for food? So I need plow or I die. I need the four food or I die. Um, I need, I really want the eight clay. I want to greed the eight, I want to get the eight clay so bad. The problem is that if I don't get the fishing gear, it's like so stupidly bad for me. Someone else could take that and it would be very upsetting. Uh, I guess I'd go farmland, auk, and then something else. No, green has day labor. They just day labor. Day laboring is so much better for them because they get more food. Um, oh, can I not thresh? Not being able to thresh sucks. Yeah, it's before. All right, we'll let's take the four food then. Four food's too important to me. I, I have to get the four food then. I, I think I always wheel plow here, so it's fine. But yeah, I, I have to take the four food. It's too important to me. And then we're just gonna pray that the clay wheels, they're gonna day labor instead of start playing. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, Teal's in a pretty good spot here. The only problem with Teal's game is that they can't grow anytime soon. Like they might take start players so that they can try and threaten a build. They have pretty nice food here. They could take eight clay though. Eight clay is also totally fine for them. I'm in kind of a rough spot. I I'm in a little bit of a pickle, but I, I should be able to get out of it. The food situation being as tight as it is, is pretty rough for me. I, I got kind of wrecked not getting that traveling players and I got a little bit greedy with everything else, but I think that everything should work out here. Yeah, there goes the eight clay. That makes a lot of sense. No, the only person who wants it is uh, We Through Kings here, I think. I think they're the only person that wants it here. Um, but yeah, Home Brewer might actually be okay here for me. I, I might be able to Home Brewer here and, and do that. I, I think Home Brewer is actually going to be totally fine here for me. I, I'm playing it this turn so bad, but... So maybe I'm not supposed to play it this turn. Maybe I just play it next turn. I could sow here, actually. Sowing here actually seems insane. So wait, is sowing just the nuts? Sowing is actually the nuts here. Wait a second. Sowing is actually the answer to, to life liberty and and the pursuit of happiness sewing is just the answer to literally everything here sewing literally answers all of my issues here oh there's a mini pasture pog yeah i think sewing literally is the answer to everything uh, every single one of my problems is answered by sewing here it gets me all the grain that i need um i have to raw eat a grain but that's totally fine Oh, I can plow extra fields before I take the grain. That's so funny. I can plow extra fields before I take the grain. That's actually hilarious. That's super funny. We'll bluff a field fences, because why not? I think it's pretty free to do that. Yeah, sowing has to be insane here, right? Sowing, rioting grain. God, I wish I'd gotten up the small greenhouse. I, I wish I could have been able to get it up. It just didn't happen. Um, although I, I think Pond Hut's now better than small greenhouse here. If I can't get both veggies off of it, the Pond Hut has to be way better here. 
I could maybe small greenhouse later, but now that I have the mini pasture, I could just play mini pasture at some point. Although I I'm pretty good on miners here. I was able to family grow without taking a bunch of miners. Oh, so got taken. That's unfortunate. That's actually unfortunate. Wow, we got sewed on. That's very sad. What do I do then? Water planter? Interesting. Everybody wants plows all of a sudden. That's very sad. Um, wood police. I'm playing pond hut next turn because I need food. No, I don't need a start player. Why would I start player here? Start player is useless. Start player is literally useless. I can start player for six wood, but um, is that good? Do I have time to do that? I guess if I green ass here, I get both the veggies off of it. Yeah, that's pretty insane. Getting both the veggies off the green ass here is pretty insa insane. Um, I could get blocked by teal wood policing, but that's not a huge deal. Getting both veggies off the greenhouse is, is really good. It's really, really good. My food is just like so bad here. I want this two stone really bad for an oven. God, I wish I'd gotten this so. This so would have been ridiculous here. Yeah, I think small greenhouse has to be really good here. The, the timing on small greenhouse has to be ridiculously good here. I could get blocked by the... I don't think I'm going to get blocked, though. I, I just don't feel like they're in the market to do that. They're going to take two sheep and breed them. That's what they're going to do. That's for sure what they're going to do. They're going to take two sheep here, because then they can buy a, a hearth. Two sheep is so good for them here. Or they could just buy a hearth. Hearth is also totally fine. Or play a swing plow. That also works, too. Dang, dude. The plows are out in force this game. Plows are out in force. They are out there. Um, feed me. Not being able to get a uh, my plow stuff now is very sad. L like, and by that I mean that I'm not able to get. Um, oh, I will get six wood. That's pretty nice. Six woods, pretty nice here. And by that I mean not being able to get. I can't thresher and plow in the same action because I'm missing a food. But yeah, the the food situation is still really scary. My food situation is still really really scary here. I might go like three clay and then try for a fireplace. How do I feed here? What is my long term feeding plan? I definitely traveling players. I definitely plow if that gets to me. Maybe three food traveling is good enough. There's so many resources in this game somehow. Even though Family Grove flipped round, round five, it, there's so many resources in this game. I wish I got that clay grab. That clay grab would have been so nice, but I couldn't risk it. That so would have been really nice too. Gotta be homebrewer. Homebrewer's gotta be a part of the equation of feeding this game, which means maybe I should traveling players or, or like plow with my next action. Oh, well, there's the building. That means I'm gonna wish for children here. All the wood goes. Makes sense. There is a lot of wood in this game somehow. Just crazy. I definitely need to play Pond Hut here. That extra food is absolutely going to be useful. And then I'm going to plow next turn if it gets to me. If it doesn't get to me, I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe two stone. Two stone might actually be okay here. I can build a stone oven with the two stone. That seems fine to me. Oh God, I really want to get grain in the ground. Getting grain in the ground would be super duper nice. Is reed stone food good? Maybe three clay is good? I can build a fireplace. Fireplace is really not great for me. I need four food traveling players super duper bad here. There's a baker. Okay, makes sense. They have the combos. Oh, my food's so bad here. My food being bad here is going to kill me. My food being bad here is absolutely going to kill me here. Oh, they're also <laughs> playing an oven firing boy. Okay, well, I think that they are set on food forever here. Yeah, the food's very sketchy here. Do I traveling players now? I could read stone food and build basket makers. 
Reed Stonefoot Basket Makers doesn't look terrible at all. Nobody's going to want to build that many more rooms, I don't think. I just need more food. Like, Basket Makers Home Brewer? Is that really my life? Reed Stone Food looks like the best action for me. The extra stone I can do something with. I have to take a food action here. Yeah, it's it's a hard life. I think that fireplace and cooking hearts are going to be terrible here. I, I just have a feeling that this this person has a fireplace. This person's fireplace, like it seems bad to me here. Oven's too slow because it's going to kill all my feeding efficiency. The extra food's very important here. The extra food from Reedstone food's very very important. Teal, you would think teal's taking the reed, but they're not. I could open four reed here. I can just open four reed. If I open four reed, I always get basket makers here, right? Wow, all the plows. The plows are here. Well, at least the plows are going to be super free later on in the game. Oh, I really want to sow. Really would like a sow here. Maybe plowing is still really good. All right, I got to think now. I gotta think now. Taking four read and denying all of the uh, actions from everybody else is completely insane. Triple build. Triple build looks bad, but I mean, four read's really good for me because I it gets me a lot of stuff that I need. It gets me some extra read for building a fifth room, which probably looks pretty good this game. It gets me extra read for building basket makers, which also looks really good this game. I think that it looks good enough to do. Missing out on plow this turn is a little bit annoying, but I think that this is gonna fix a lot of things things that I need to fix this game, and I'm willing to do that to uh, to proceed in this game. I think that it fixes too many things for me. It also denies both Teal and Red the opportunity to build more rooms, which if they realize that they're going to get Storks tier by Green, um, they would definitely want to build more rooms, because Green's going to take Reedstone food into build a room here, for sure. No, or into Grow? They're not Reedstone fooding into Grow? Well, I'm shocked that they're not Reedstone fooding into Grow here. Oh, they're going to grow a uh, lump it. Okay, that also works. Day labor combos are pretty good, apparently. So I want basket makers. Four food goes, wow. Well, good thing I have basket makers. <laughs> good thing I have basket makers. Wow, taking a hearth and taking four food is crazy. Why not take two boars? Why would large bacon strip not take two boars there? That's actually a maniac move. That's a maniac move to take the 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 four food there. That's actually maniac move. Basket makers? Yeah, grow lump it's great for them. Yeah, that's true. I don't understand why they wouldn't take that's six food. So good for you. Um I'm also thinking about plowing. Plow into sow also looks really, really good. Do I have time for plow? So I can go so home brewer. Hmm. Basket makers puts me at five food. I would love a plow here. I just don't, I don't think I can do it. I don't, I don't think I have time for a plow. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this. We're gonna take this. Yeah, no one's ever sewing here. I'm gonna take this. I think if I don't get basket makers here, my game just dies. So I'm just gonna take basket makers here. I, I think ba without basket makers, my game is like really, really bad. We're gonna take our basket makers food efficiency. Um, yeah, I think so. Home brewer is is a good option. I think home brewer is going to set my food for the f the long term future um, really well. I can raw eat a grain and eat the grain for the the home brewer here, and I think that's going to set up my food pretty efficiently. I think that's going to set things up pretty efficiently here. Fencing makes sense. Wow, they got so greedy, dude! A large bacon strip. Take the two boars. Please take the two boars. Please punish them for their greed. Two boars is so good for you. You get to breed them. Why not take two boars? I don't understand. Don't get it. What a weird number of fences to build. What a strange number. 
Um, if I get six clay, I'm snapping six clay next turn, by the way. Six clay is a perfect amount for renovate plus milk jug, which I definitely want to do. God, take the boars, dude. Take the boars, because they're they're crazy. How is blue getting the boars? I don't understand how blue got food and defense boars. It's so crazy. It's actually ridiculous that they got all of that. That's actually completely crazy that, that that's going on. The, the pressure on fields is not even that crazy here. It's not even that insane. Because, like, I'm going to be done with fields in a bit. Green doesn't want fields. Teal needs one more field action. Soul Reader, Collusion. Yeah, probably. Probably Collusion. Um, and then I play a... Oh, Homebrewer doesn't work. I'm one food short if I Homebrewer here, right? Oh, I'm one food short. It's unfortunate. Oh, I'm one food short. What a bummer. What an absolute bummer that I'm a food short here. Mm. One food short. I miscounted. Should have plowed a field then, I guess. Plowing a field would have been really good. I have to play homebrewer here. I have to play homebrewer here. If I don't play homebrewer here, it's like really bad. I might have to do something else, but I, I have to play homebrewer here. The reason that I have to play homebrewer here is that homebrewer is going to be food in the future. So like right now I'm at seven food. If I sow, I'm still at seven food, which is kind of unfortunate. I thought that sowing gave me one extra food for some reason. Um, but I think reedstone food's fine anyways. The extra stone's not going to be terrible. Um... Yeah, I'll just take Reedstone food here and eat the grain. Eating the grain is also not super ideal, but it, it's not the end of the world either. There's so much wood in this game, like, and there's so many plows left, so it's fine. Yo, what's up, Chris? How's it going? Yeah, this is okay. Th this is okay. My food's going to be relatively efficient here. Like, it's going to be okay. I have one extra food left over to buy some some food here, so it should be it should be fine. This meat pasture's going to suck, though. This meat pasture's going to be really bad. Yeah, it gets me closer to another improvement. I mean, the Reedstone food's not going to be bad at all. The Reedstone food's going to be totally fine here. Man, my, I have not had this sketchy of food in a very long time. I have not had this sketchy of food in a very long time. My food is so sketchy this game. Like, freaking Green's food is so bad somehow. They, they just didn't set up their food at all. We Three Kings set up their food now, but then in the process, they burned my food, which is crazy. It's just crazy that Large Bacon Strip didn't take the two boars there. I, th I think that's maniac move, but whatever. Um, if six wood's there, obviously I'm going to snap six wood, but... Um, well, actually, I might not snap six wood. I might take... Uh, there's so much wood in this game. I might take uh, six clay over six wood. I think six clay is, is somehow more important than six wood here. Getting to play the milk jug is, like, stupid for me. It's so good. Considers boars to be cannibalism? Maybe, maybe that's true. Maybe that would be that'd be uh, funny if true. I really want to play this milk jug. I want to play this milk jug so bad here. Oh yeah, we're we're snapping, snapping this six clay. God, large bacon strip has way too much food. What are you doing with all this food, dude? What are you actually doing with all this food? I have no clue what they're doing with all this food here. Six clay. I might start player milk jug here into build. Start player milk jug into build seems pretty nice. And then I can take a, a cow here for food. Taking a cow here for food seems really good. Seems very, very nice. It, especially if plow doesn't wheel. If plow wheels, I'm going to have to consider taking a plow. Plow is like so good for me, but um, if not, then I'll just do something else. Yeah, all the clay goes. Makes sense. Start build looks pretty good here, honestly. Because um, I want to get the milk jug into play anyways. This lets me play the either re the recycled brick or the mini pasture. I think the mini pasture has to be great. I can take cows one by one if I really need to. So yeah, that's got to be good. I, I think getting the milk jug into play here has to be insane. No one else can build here either, which is great because I, t I took all the reed out of the game because no one's respecting the reed stacks. So yeah, that seems good to me. Um, Plow is still there. Do I care about plowing at all? I can just sow, honestly. Sowing one grain is actually totally fine, too. I guess if I plow and sow, I want to sow more than one thing. Yeah, I think taking a cow this turn is too good. I think that taking one cow this turn is, like, way too good. I think starting player milk jug and then building a room is just, like, way too good here. Yeah, I think that's fine. 
I just need the milk jug in play. I need the milk jug in play so bad. My food is like way too sketchy for this milk jug to not be in play. And I can go build a room in to take a cow here. Build a room in to take a cow has got to be great. All right, JMC is finally going to play the, uh, the thing. So build a room, take a cow. The next turn I want plow so. No, no, if red takes the cow, it's fine. If red takes, well, if I don't, if I didn't start and red takes the cow, it's really sad. Yes, but like now it's great. Now, now everything's great. A uh, large bacon strips building the other oven, I think. The well, okay, that's fine. I think things are still going okay for me. Like, I don't think things are going terribly for me. They're definitely not amazing, but they're not terrible. Um, I'm going to take the builder room spot in hopes that someone else takes the cow for me because I would like to not have to take the cow, but if I do have to take the cow, it's fine. Uh, do I want stables here? Do I want stables here? It, 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 because I have organic farmer, organic farmer makes stabling pretty good. It puts me a little bit behind on fences, but honestly, large bacon strip doesn't need wood. We Three Kings doesn't need wood. JMC needs wood, but that's it. Everyone else doesn't need wood in this game. I think because I have the mini pasture and because I'm going to be plowing so many fields later on in the game, I think that stabling is totally fine. Yeah, stabling and then taking the cow is fine here. Yeah, this is fine. I think two stables is okay. Let's me hold a different animal pair if I want to. I'm going to fence a, a, a pasture, of course, or fence a stable, of course. Definitely going to do that, but yeah. What a weird feeding engine. <laughs> what a weird, what a weird food situation I've got going on here. What an interesting food situation I've got going on. Is anyone going to sew next round? Is JMC going to sew next round? They have no food. God, their food situation's so bad. I guess they can raw eat like a million things. Oh, stone clearing is great. I, I like seeing that. That's really good to see. I really like seeing that. That's that's the card that we want to see here. Is there anything I can build off renovate that's even remotely close to being good? Not really. Not really. This renovate is just not great. All right, I'll take a cow here to to guarantee it hits. D double double cowing this turn is so good for me. It's like so stupidly good for me to to double cow here. I get breeding cows, which gives me a lot of points. Um, I get to get a lot of food when I take the cows. It puts more pressure on the cow later, so that more people take cows later on. Like, it's just really good. Wow, also, JMC did not play the... Uh... Oh, also, I forgot I have this veggie incoming. This veggie incoming is huge. Oh my god, that makes me want to sow this turn so bad. Uh, grow me. Gotta be main pasture. I will figure out the food somewhere. I think my food's actually gonna be okay here, hilariously. I think that the basket maker's gonna save me. Basket maker's gonna be the big the big savior here. Um, I might sow if it comes around to me. I, I need the, the grain so bad here. I need the grain like outrageously bad. Yeah, and sowing the veggies so many points too. If plow gets around, do I take plow instead? Plowing into sowing would obviously be the dream. That would obviously be the dream to plow into sow here. I don't I don't know how likely it is that that happens, but it's got to be the dream. Nobody's sowing. Oh, I don't know, dude. Wraith your kings has well, Wraith your kings has a thing. Yeah, nobody's sowing here. Nobody's sowing. That's great. That's good to know. Nobody's sowing. Oh, there's four food available. You love to see that that I have a backup food source here for for my bottom feeding shenanigans. God, can I just, can we just reiterate how good Milk Jug is here? What a weird feeding engine. We got Home Brewer, Basket Makers, Milk Jug is our feeding. That's that's nine food every harvest. That's our food engine is freaking Home Brewer, Basket Makers, Milk Jug. It's so funny. What a freaking hilarious food engine this is. No, dude, this means they're sewing. This means they're sewing for sure. Th this for sure is an indicator that they're intending to sew on their, their empty veggie field, which is really sad. Cottager! Dude, they really were. They really tried to replicate my draft. They small-scale cottagered. Oh, they have collector? I like that. That gives me more uh, animals. <sighs> they sew for free. Oh, yeah, they do sew for free. Uh, true. Well, then maybe they won't sew. I should probably plow a field here. No matter what, plowing a field's got to be insane for me here. I, I just need plows. I'm going to take a cow with my last action if cow is still there for obvious reasons. Um, I should count my food here, actually. 
So I have two, three, four, five, eight, 11. Yeah, I think I can plow here. I think plowing's pretty safe. I, I think if I plow and then get a sow, everything is totally fine here. So one, four, seven, and then 10 when I take the cow. Yeah, this is totally fine. Everything's gonna be fine here. I, I don't normally like taking basket makers. I think basket makers is normally like terrible, but in this game, it's definitely bailing me out. In this game specifically, basket makers is bailing me out super duper hard. Plow, sow, cow is my sequence of actions here. And then from now on, all I need is wood, I think. I just need wood. I need like one more sow action. I'm in pretty good shape. I need to renovate at some point. I need to find some some something to build on renovate here. I need something to build on renovate. Um, wow, the reno queue is awful, actually. The reno queue is like actually just terrible here. <laughs> Are any of the guilds better than the others? Basket makers is really good for, for feeding. If there's an excess of reed in the game and you need food, basket makers is a very efficient way of turning resources into food. Pottery is good if they're like, there tends to be a lot of excess of clay in the game. Excess of clay, sorry, not access of clay. There tends to be a lot of excess of clay in a game. And so as a result, the um, pottery can be good in a lot of, like it, it's good generally because there's there tends to be a lot of clay in games. Joinery is the one that's probably the worst um, because like joinery, converting wood into food is fine, but you really don't want to be doing that because wood has such a high opportunity cost associated with it. Um, we're going to be sewing here for sure. Sewing is ridiculous. Yeah, sewing to take a cow has to be crazy here. Um, also, at some point, I, I, the stables are nice because it allows me to hold extra animals here, which is good. Um, the extra animal space is actually pretty nice here. Um, and then we'll sew. Uh, but yeah, like, like basket makers is like, can be a good feeding engine. A out of all of them, basket makers is definitely like the best uh, feeding wise. Why did it give me a baked bread like that? That was so weird. That was so weird. It gave me a baked bread like that. That was so strange. Um, basket makers is definitely the one that's the best conversion rate in into food. Um, pottery is the one that's the most likely to be useful because there's most likely to be an excess of clay in a game. Um, and joinery is only there if you really need the points at the end of the game, or you have a way to get a billion wood, which um, both of those are, are not likely to happen. Jo joinery is by far the most situational one. But I think all the guilds are situational by nature because normally when you build them, building them as a feeding engine is not great because they, it takes a lot of actions to get resources typically, and you typically want to be using those resources for other things. That being said, if you can get super efficient resource grabs, the guilds can be good in a pinch. So like in this game, Basket Makers is super duper full insane here because it's it, there was there's a lot of read in this game. Nobody seems to want read. We Three Kings and, and Large Bacon Strip seems... They, they seem to be just completely ignoring Reed, which means that, um, yeah, everything's sort of hunky-dory for me. We Three Kings ignoring Reed is very surprising given that they have a 4 and 8 in play. I think that was a mistake by them to not take Reed and try and build extra rooms. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think that they sort of punted. Like, like them taking the 4 food for me um, is is pretty big punt, I think. Large Bacon Strips game still looks pretty good, honestly. Like, it looks pretty good. They have a collector stuff going on. They might run out of points at the end of this game, but other than that, their game looks good. Um, and then we take a cow because 3 food and 2 points is pretty good. I like getting two points with my three food. That seems pretty nice. I don't know if they forgot four and Yeah, maybe they forgot four and it, It's very possible. Very, very possible they forgot about four and here. I don't know what they're starting for here. I mean, maybe, yeah, I don't, they have so much wood. I mean, maybe for three reed. Could be just three reed here, honestly. Um, all right, so joinery is gone. What can I build off of this renovate? I might just reno nothing, honestly. I guess recycled brick could be okay, maybe. Maybe recycled brick is is playable. Reno recycled brick, I guess, is maybe playable. Maybe some extra clay is okay. Uh, that means that on my second renovate, I can maybe reno like fireplace or I can reno um, something else. So yeah, maybe there's something there. All right, we've cobbled together decent feeding somehow. Somehow we've actually cobbled together like halfway decent feeding. Now we're at the point where we basically have like nine food of harvest coming in, which is good. Pottery be okay. It would be fine. I mean, if we can get the recycled brick in play, pottery is probably fine. Um, I can just reno pottery when I renovate. That's probably totally fine. I'm going to be taking reedstone foods relatively aggressively. I do want to renovate the stone with the chimney sweep. I think it's pretty efficient to do that. Also, it looks like We Three Kings and, and Large Bacon Strip not renovating super aggressively, which, you know, it makes sense. Sorry, but I'm hiding the recycled brick behind my head, by the way. Sorry about that. It's it's hiding. It's hiding behind my head. 
kind of a good way of showing it. But yeah, there, there's a recycled brick behind my head. So recycled brick could be good. Oh, I can hover and, and do this maybe. Maybe this shows it, sort of. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's hiding behind my head. Uh, all right, paying a grain for three food. Yes. Can't pay for points yet. Yeah, this is why I like the home brewer better in this situation is because having to build an oven here was very hard to do. So, so having a card where I don't have to build an oven to feed with it is really, really nice. Um, one more cow is going to be three food and a point, by the way. So if I ever need cows in the future, it's not going to be terrible to take cows. Yeah, I got I to gotta be careful about my food. Try one of the other settings for your hand cards. Um, yeah, I, I, I like it this way for the stream, only because I have a green screen. Only because I have a green screen. That's it. Wait, what's actually creative? Hobrewer is a Scuff Baker. Yeah, it, it's kind of like a Scuff Baker. That, that's essentially what it is this game is like. I, I didn't want to play it, but like it's it's pretty good with Thresher because you have so much grain floating around. I, I don't like the, the reason that I think Baker is not as good sometimes is because Baker, you have to get the baking improvement. Like it's obviously insane with Power Ceramics. Obviously, Power Ceramics Baker is insane. But um, yeah, in general, I'm a big fan of uh, I mean, I'm not a big fan of, of either homebrewer or baker, but I think they both have niches. I think in this game, the homebrewer is a little bit better, which is evidenced by the fact that it was really action efficient for me to play the homebrewer here, and it's pretty good. So yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy about it, honestly. Grow Without Room flips, and We Three Kings cannot take it, which maybe they're going to try to, uh, forgetting that, that it's not possible for them to do that. Um, no, they're just going to re-up starting. All right, cool. <laughs> they have a straw thatch roof. Oh, yeah, straw thatch roof makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense here. That makes a lot of sense. Um, do I plow or do I take four wood here? Reno is fine for right now. JMC can renovate. I don't mind if JMC renovates here. So three read is completely free for me. No one's ever taking the read ever. Um. How, how scary is plow? Large bacon strip wanting plows makes me want to plow here instead of taking wood. Yeah, I, I think the plow is a little bit too good here. It gives me wood, it gives me food. Not getting the plows sooner is worse for me. I think I'm just gonna plow here. I think that the wood I can get eventually anyways. I'm, I'm really not in a rush on getting wood. Like I, I want, I want to take an animal stack at some point, but like if JMC gets four wood, they're going to build fences here. And like, I can't really beat them to that. Like, I'm just going to let them take four wood and build fences. I will just take some three wood stacks in the next few turns and build fences next turn. I can still hold some animals. So like, I can still take four, um... ah, you know what I can do? I can take four sheep, hold them in the big pasture, throw away a cow and then hold the cow in the stable in the um, other pasture. And then I can, fence after that and then i can maybe like reno game trade i can do something with that three stone goes that's totally fine um do i want three read here i need some extra read i need a little bit of extra read for reno three read actually gets me enough read for the rest of the game here I'm, i might actually take three read this turn too I don't know, maybe four wood looks good. If JMC is not going to try and get wood... Wow, large bacon strips taking the wood. That is brutal. They're taking wood for stables? Why? You have joinery. I guess they can bake bread, but they're not baking bread. All right, fine. The sheep look really good. The sheep looks, like, hilariously good to take the sheep here. It looks very, very good. Like, I can take the sheep and hold the, the boar somewhere. The problem is that the wood actions are actually going to kind of go fast. Yeah, that's kind of an issue, is that the wood actions are kind of going to be rough here. Don't need the reed at all. Reed's, like, totally free. I want JMC to reno this turn, so that way I don't have to worry about it later on. I'm not going to try and fight reno immediately. I can just renovate next turn, and it's totally fine. God, the four sheep looks so good, though. Four sheep looks so good. If I don't take the sheep, who's taking the sheep? I guess JMC could take the sheep here. They need food really bad. I guess they have a million veggies, though. If they get a sow, they're going to be fine on food for the rest of existence. We Three Kings can't hold anything. I think the sheep tables one more turn. I think it tables one more turn. I think We Three Kings is growing here, so I, th I think it, it like always comes back again. 
I only need three more with this game and then I'm set. I kind of want to plow the last, the sixth base. I think plowing the sixth base is fine. Oh, I forgot JMC still has to grow. That's hilarious. <laughs> I forgot they still have to grow. That's actually so funny. They still have a fifth family member, their fifth place. There was a field fences. Yeah, there was a field fences in the draft. So could definitely be field fences. Yeah, I forgot about that. But yeah, there was a field fences. This does look suspiciously like field fences. So that would also make sense if this is field fences. Um, if this is field fences, then I can go like take four sheep into three wood fence here. And it's, it's pretty easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I need JMC to renovate now i need them to renovate this turn yeah the four sheep is so good the four sheep's got to be so good here and then like i don't have to play the organic farmer if i don't want to like organic farmers not even going to be good here but yeah taking sheep and then taking wind fencing has got to be great here yeah i think it's reno stone oven too i, I agree that's reno stone oven all right we king's gonna set up for the renovate if i don't get a reno to stone it's pretty fine i think it's pretty okay is large bacon strip going to collect again Collecting again is kind of scary. Like, it does kill your point ceiling a lot. They do have really high point ceiling, though, so, like, it's probably fine if they do it. They have a cottager for renovating. It's interesting. Interesting. So, three wood fences. Then I don't really need to plow, but I could. I guess plow so is going to be really good for me. I guess if I get a plow so, plow so is like completely insane for me. If, if I get that, that would be pretty nice, which I could definitely get a plow so here next turn. So sheep, wood fences. Yeah, sheep's also just insane because of the game trade. The ga it turns the game trade into a two point move or a one point move, I guess, because I can. Yeah, it turns the game trade into a one point move. Maybe JMC will take the, the cow for me and give me food. That would be nice. Oh, yeah, no problem. Take care. Take care, uh, Merrick. I, I appreciate it. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, is the reed ever getting taken here? Oh, the reed might get taken. The reed getting taken would be a big bummer. D why, dude? Why are you taking my wood? This is this is some BS. Why, though? That makes no sense. Just collect again. I guess they can collect next turn. They really want this food? That's so insane. That seems outrageous. I, I might get Plasso. I don't know. I don't know what large bacon strip's going to do, but like in principle, I could get Plasso. Uh, all right. So fencing. Well, God, we three kings wants to fence. That's the biggest problem is that we three kings here wants to fence. I could still fence here. I might just fence here then. I might just fence here and say F it to the, the extra wood. The extra wood's like so good for me, but like I can just refence later if I get another wood grab. I'd rather just do that and get the fences out of the way now. So that way it's not like super urgent. I just, yeah, I would rather fence before I take the sheep here. Oh, but I can't get the sheep back, huh? Not getting the sheep back is kind of annoying because then JMC is going to always take the sheep here. I'm just going to stank the sheep. I think staying the sheep is too good. It's a little bit too good here. I, I probably will fence next turn if... All right, so we do this. We put the sheep all in here. We put a cow in here, a cow in here, and we let the other cow run away. I guess I can three wood fence next turn. How bad is three wood fencing next turn? I guess it's not that bad. I can renovate this turn maybe. Maybe Reno recycled brick is totally fine. No, my recycled brick, dude. My recycled brick. No, I missed out on the recycled brick. That's a bummer. Missing out on the recycled brick here is a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. I can go for Reno fences too. Maybe Reno fences is fine. No, Reno fences is bad. Reno fencing is bad. It's not good. Not good to Reno fence here. All right, there's a stone oven. Probably not necessary at all. All right, thinking emoji. Stone oven's probably not necessary at all, but it does give them three points, so that's the thing. Three points is pretty good. That's a lot of points. That is a lot of points. At some point, I'll, I'll probably want to play this chimney sweep, but yeah, I, I think three three read is too good for me. It gives me enough read to renovate to stone if I if I ever want to renovate to stone. I don't know if I'm ever going to, but it's possible I could renovate to stone here. It's pretty feasible. Um, so what am I doing? I'm doing three read here. I could just take five food. Five food here might be good. I could also sew. Sewing is also just a two point move that gives me food as well. Sewing is also not terrible this turn. I don't, if JMC doesn't sew this turn, I don't really mind sewing this turn. Maybe I just sew instead. Do I ever get a plow sew though? I don't think I ever get a plow sew. I think I think large bacon strip probably plow sews, although they have a mold bird plow. I don't know. 
I'm gonna take three three um read and then if JMC doesn't sow, I'll sow. If they sow, then I, I could probably sow pretty freely next turn and I'll find something else to do. We'll just take this. Um I can maybe play the chimney sweep now, maybe that's fine. Fencing now is also fine, because I need a fence next turn. If I don't fence this turn, I have to fence next turn. We Three Kings has three wood floating around, and I don't know what they're doing with it. They could fence two here to hold more animals. I think stables is a little bit better for them, but I, I'm not actually sure what they're planning on doing with this wood. It's a little scary. Yeah, I, I can still fence five here. I think fence five is still a thing. I think taking the read this turn's fine because if the read gets taken, it's like pretty bad for me. Okay, major minor, interesting. I could definitely still fence five here. Yeah, I think I think that definitely the the fencing for or the plowing for one extra wood and then playing stable master is pretty good here too. Okay, they have a feed pellets. Feed pellets is pretty good for them. Not getting so would be pretty sad next turn. Well, actually, it doesn't even matter next turn. I don't even need so next turn. I think fencing five is fine. Yeah, fencing five is like totally fine here. F not fencing, not getting fenced next turn just sucks really bad. It's just like really, really awful if I don't get fenced next turn. I think fencing five this turn is totally fine. I think that's totally acceptable. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's fine here. I think it's good. I think it's still good. I think I think fencing five is still good in light of uh, looking at the board situation. I just really don't want to tie myself to fencing because I can also get Reno fence in the last round. Like Reno fence in the last round is pretty likely to happen for me. It's pretty likely I get Ren fence in the last round here. Very very likely. Okay, first action renovate. Interesting. This must be a roof baluster. Got to be a roof baluster here. There, there's no other thing that makes this make any sense at all other than a roof baluster here. Nothing that makes this make sense except for a roof baluster. I think. What will large bacon strip do? Um, how am I doing on food? I mean, maybe they're just gonna go for a renovate to stone here, but they, they don't have the actions for it, right? They would have to go roof baluster into, um, into something else here. Yeah, so large bacon strip gets the um, other thing no matter what. Do I just plow a field here? Plowing a field and getting the wood and stable mastering is pretty nice. Could start player for Reno Fence. I'm guaranteed to get one Reno next turn. I don't think there's any way that Large ba Well, Large Bacon Strip could Reno, but they can always Reno on Day Labor, which is, like, totally fine for them. I could take the cows away from the table. Cows are, are two food, or, like, three food and, and a point. Uh, it's not really a point, actually, because of my animal space. It's not worth a point because of my animal space here. Would you even want a large bacon strip? You know what? Good question. Good question. I didn't consider that. Could go plow into sow here. What else am I doing? Six food is also nice. It means I can turn some grain into bonus points if I really want to. Would really like the two boars here. Maybe I just rush the stable master and try and pick up the boars. The boars are pretty insane for me. Large equals thickness. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'll just do that. Plowing also sets up a sow. I think the sow is also... Like, I want to sow eventually. It's not super urgent, but I want it at some point. Yeah, I think the one extra wood's pretty decent. I probably will try and set up for a reno fence next round. I think reno fence is, like, pretty decent for me. We're also going to see if We Three Kings plays a... Uh, uh, what is it called? A thing. Plays a card that helps them renovate. There's a sow, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, missing out on sow is pretty fine here. I don't really mind it that much. All right, they're gonna take two cows instead. We like that. I'm at 10 food right now. I think I play Stable Master and try and pick up the boars here. I think that JMC probably will take the boars for me and then I just sow on them, but that's totally fine if that happens. Not a huge deal. Not a huge deal at all. Yeah, if they take that, that's fine. Start player, okay. Six food might be okay here too. All right, doesn't look like roof baluster to me. Are there any cards? How many cards I not see here? Now I gotta think back to how many cards I didn't see. 
building stables. Makes sense. Large bacon strips going to collect again, it looks like. Yeah, I might just take six food. God, sewing is good. Six food's good. Sewing is fine. If I sew next turn, I get two extra food. Um... Hmm. <laughs> Would I rather sew? I probably want a wood action this turn. I, the other problem with playing Stable Master is that I'm delaying the other occupations I have, and the other occupations I have I think are likely to be worth points. I don't think Organic Farmer is going to be worth any points here, but I think, I think it's worth one point. But Chimney Sweep's definitely worth a lot to me. Playing a Chimney Sweep is definitely really good, because um, I think Chimney Sweep's going to let me renovate here. Are there any improvements left that are worth anything? A Pottery? Hmm. I think if I want to renovate the stone, I have to play the Chimney Sweep this turn. I just have to do it because it gives me tempo on everybody else on renovating. Except for Large Bacon Strip. It doesn't give me tempo on Large Bacon Strip, but I want to see what they're collecting before I decide whether I'm going to try and renovate a stone or not. I think the Stable Master line has too much upside, unfortunately. <sighs> hard, hard spot. Difficult, difficult spot. Hmm. Always playing Chimney Sweep here. Always, always, always playing Chimney Sweep. Weather King is always growing here. Oh, I can always block We Three Kings from renoing. I, I can always block them from renoing here by just taking, by threatening the other reno spot. Okay, so they shouldn't go for a reno here then. In that case, I'm gonna sew here. I think I don't get the pigs anyways. I'm just gonna sew. I think sewing's totally fine. Um, and I'm gonna go for food on the wheel here. No baking, confirm. So three, six, eight, ten, twelve grain here. Yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, that, that was always happening. I had a feeling that was always happening here. I should always get Reno Fence here. I, I should, I should, I think three wood into Reno Fence is better. I, I think that Chimney Sweep is good. Yeah, I can Reno Game Trade. Reno Game Trade is going to be totally fine here. So I can Chimney Sweep here in this turn. So Chimney Sweep, six food. Oh, I forgot about the stone clearing, but that's fine. That doesn't really matter, right? They can't get enough stone. They have exactly four stone now. I can always block the Renovate here. They can't ever Renovate because of the um, the foreign aid, unless they get exactly five stone here. But I don't think they're getting exactly five stone here. I think they're getting exactly four, which is one short. Um, it's debatable. Uh, Weather Gang saying it's probably a bug um, that it puts stone on Beanfield, which I, I guess is debatable. Apparently it's fine. <laughs> Apparently it's fine, but yeah. Apparently it's fine. It is weird that it puts a stone on that. It's correct. Yeah, it, it's like really weird. I, I think that it's fine that it's correct. Apparently it's fine. Uh, like, it, it, I understand it either way. I can definitely understand it working either way. All right, what is Large Bacon Strip going to do here? What they do definitely, um... It's technically a field. <laughs> so it gets a stone. It's very strange. Uh, yeah, it says, it's only, it says it only... You can only grow vegetables on it. It's, it's freaking weird. It's just so weird. What's up, Killzor? How's it going? 
it's it's very weird i don't know i i don't know it, it's just weird it's a weird ruling yeah lumen lumen has spent a long time arguing about this lumen knows best god is large bacon strip actually going for a freaking renovate are you actually going for a renovate are you serious right now that's a tilt oh they have cottager though maybe they cottager it maybe they cottager it maybe they cottager the renovate Maybe they'll just cottager on their renovate here. Four stone. <sighs> Maybe they cottager it. Uh, I think I'm gonna take the six food here. I think six food's a little bit too important to me. Six food just gives me a lot of flexibility. It means that, how much food do I have right now? I have three, six, eight, 10, 12 uh, veggie, or grain. So I have two extra grain, five, eight, 11. So I have 17 food. I have 20 when someone takes a cow next turn, which is going to happen. So I'm exactly fed on food if I don't take um, oxen miners. Yeah, so I just take I just take um, my oxen miners now then. So I take three wood. I play an ox. I guess I can refence next turn if I really want to. I'll just play a chimney sweep here. Yeah, we'll just play this here. That's fine. I I'm always going to play it anyways because it's worth points to me. So I'll just play this here. That's fine. Why? My wood! Oh, I should have taken the three wood, I guess. I, I, I guess I misjudged how much wood there was in the game, but whatever. Reno Fence is still worth points to me. That's really annoying. God, why do they need the wood? I guess they were also running out of things to do. I guess they're also running out of things to do. Yeah, what a what a sad time that is. I guess I can plow so next turn for zero points. For one point, I guess. Um, it's oh yeah, two was just as good. I'm dumb. I can't count. I th I thought this was three wood defense. This space instead of two. I I legitimately thought it was three wood defense. That space is F two like a like a Dumbo. Oh, I need one extra food too because of the um food and round or the uh, veggie in round fourteen. I gotta buy that. So maybe a food action's okay for me, but but like probably not. I don't know. Food action's probably terrible for me. Anyways, I have so much food right now. I, I need a food action at some point, but it doesn't have to come right now. It can come later. I have I have a, a little bit under what I need for raw grain, like a little teeny bit under what I need for raw grain. Like like I'm like I'm like two food short or something like that. I think I'm like two food short. It's something along those lines of of food shortness. Um, I probably should take stone this turn. I probably should take three stone this turn. I, I probably should take three stone into two wood. That should probably be my last two actions. Three stone to two wood here. Or two wood into three stone, I guess, because no way that JMC ever takes three stone here. Because there's no improvements available outside the pottery. No way they go for that. But I could go for the pottery. I could do that. Game trade is going to be sweet here. Game trade is going to be very good here, I think. I think game trade is going to be quite good. It's going to be a, a bunch of points. All right, larger bacon super grows that room. Makes sense. Um, I think I can run out of stone here, right? I, I can always run out of stone unless large bacon strip takes a, like, unless they want to try and block it from me, which is bad for them because they have cottager here. I think I just always get it. I'm gonna go for it. I think I have not enough else to do that it's fine. This is a non-arena game. Yeah, this is non-arena. Screw arena. Hello, it's going, it's going okay. It's going all right. Um, some things worked out okay. Some things worked out not okay. Um, we're just hoping for the best, but yeah, it, it's, it's going okay. All right, there goes food. I don't need this food, I don't think. So that's good. Yeah, I can just raw eat other grain too. Like basically a food action's a point at some point for me. So yeah, it's it's like totally fine. Are you actually serious, dude? What a what an actual jerk. What a jerky McJerkerson. Taking my my two two wood. Um well in that case. Hello, CW Gordon, how are you? 
Well, in that case, I can take Reedstone food, I guess. I can take six food. Reedstone food allows me to buy a basket. Or, uh, it doesn't really allow me to buy anything, but yeah, because I'm in a Reno game trade. All right, I'll take six, six food then. That's fine. Six food, I can maybe turn a grain into a bonus point in the last round if I don't need the food. I can do something like that. I can turn grain into bonus points this food. I, I'll do something along those lines here if I need to. Yeah, JMC really ran out of things to do for points, huh? I guess they can take one wood. Are they also taking one wood? I'm going to try and double reno. Yeah, I'm going to try for a double reno here. I, I think double reno has a decent shot of happening. Um, large bacon, like, so we three kings can't block me on reno because they have a four nade. So I can always reno on them because they all have only four stone coming off. Um, so I can always block them on reno here. Uh, large bacon strip can reno on me if they prioritize two clay into reno, which has a bad thing. Oh, they have private force for an eighth wood. Okay, that makes sense. So I, I think that like if 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 large bacon strip wants to block me on renovate, they can, but they have a cottager, so they shouldn't want to block me on renovate because reno um, with day labor is better than reno fence for them in theory. So. It'd be very annoying if they blocked Reno Fence for me. There's like not really a reason for them to do that. Um, so I'm always eating Reed here. So 8, 11, 14, 17, 20, 23. Um, so I can always eat this for a point, right? 2, 4, 5, 6, 12. So I have 3, 4, 5, 8, 11 food, plus 8 is 19, plus 3 from the cow is 22. I'm going to turn this into a point. I think that it's always going to be fine to turn this into a point here. It's almost always fine to turn it into a point. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about the veggie food. Maybe I should have turned into food instead. It makes playing an occupation awkward if I want to play an occupation, but I shouldn't want to play an occupation here anyways. I think it should be fine. Yeah, I shouldn't want to play an occupation here anyways, but I think I think I should have turned it into food. I think turning it into food was, was better for an oc. But organic farmer I don't think is going to be playable here, so it's fine. Yummy reed. I guess I can always raw eat grain. I can always raw eat grain too to do that if I really want to play something. Yeah, red not eating food. But I mean, red does really red really want to renovate here? They have plow a field. They have sow. Plowing and sowing are both insane actions for them. They should take. Like take, taking a renovate is just not action efficient for them. Like, like it's it's good if they can get it with their day labor action because then they don't have to prioritize the actions as much. Well, I guess they don't have to prioritize plow. I can't I can't plow on them. I could sow. The problem is that they if they want plow sow, they have to take plow sow because in theory like JMC still wants to sow and they can definitely take plow sow instead of actually taking sow because I don't think they need the food from the bake. Doesn't look like it to me. Um We Three Kings probably doesn't take sow, but in theory could. I don't know. But uh, plow field is definitely unblockable though. So like maybe they go for it. Maybe they go for it and, and try and screw me, but it'd be annoying if they did that. Yeah, I'm right eating two grain anyways. Yeah, so I, I think it's fine. Yummy veggie. Yum yum. Yeah, I, th I think cow always gets taken here. Like, unless there's something I missed from their farm, like, like cow should always get taken here, but maybe it doesn't. Oh, they're leading cow. Wow, that's actually nice that they're leading cow here. Uh, for guessing is winning. Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll flip a coin. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, you can guess who's winning. Well, the problem is that you could be counting points. Like, you could just be counting points to guess who's winning. And I don't know. If you're counting points to guess who's winning, then... Oh, right, we did it. We get to run out twice. Let's go. We get to run out twice. We did it. Hello. Uh, no, I'm going to stream Arena some. I mean, I'm going to do some Arena. It's just that, like... Arena, like this table, look, everybody has a decent rating at this table. Look at everybody's rating. Everyone's played barely reasonably. Wow, isn't that great? It's nice having a table where it's not like two people who are like 500 rated and two people who are 100 rated. It's so unbalanced. It's like not even close to being the same game. Having a game where like people are doing relatively decent things and you can count on people to do relatively decent things is fun. It's a fun thing. And I am enjoying this format where like I can expect people to do relatively decent things. Um, so yeah. I 
I'm renoing here always. I'm always renovating here. Um, it's got to be reno game trade and just like I just sit on reno fences. I'll take reno fences there, but um, it's better than okay. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Makes sense. Um, I'm gonna reno first because renoing first is humongous, and I'm gonna game trade. Um, yeah, game trade's totally fine here. Totally, totally fine. I want the boar anyways. This gives me a boar, uh, so it's like a one point action. Yeah, this is fine here. Totally okay. Goes for fun games over winning. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, if, if allowed to, I will definitely take a wood action over the second reno. See, the problem, Elyra, is that they can't balance the rating because there's not enough people in the pool. You can't matchmake when there's no one to matchmake against. And so as a result, arena queues, you're not going to get matchmaking in the arena queues because, like, you would have to wait too long to matchmake them. Um, right? So, so like, yeah, it, it's just not going it, to... It's not going to happen that way. Um, like, yeah, it, 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 it's just... And it makes... it Like, in my opinion... I think that playing those types of arena games can be fun. It, it can be kind of fun to play those types of arena games every once in a while, where you have like kind of an unbalanced table. You definitely play differently against an unbalanced table than you do against like players who are all similar in level. And I say similar in level, I mean, these people are a couple hundred ELO below me, but like by similar in level, I mean that we don't have anyone at this table who is like actively like, like doing nonsense and trolling. Like, oh God, they took the clay now. They took it now. <clears throat> I'm gonna reno fence now. I got a reno fence now. I got I got not let this person reno fence on me, so I'll just reno fence now. I'll take wooden fence if allowed to, because I think I have no other ways to get points here. I could take food and then turn a um clay into a point, I guess. But uh, reno fencing has got to be good for me here. Let's rearrange some animals. There's no constable, right? No constable in this game. Yeah, exactly. Like, like I've had too many games in Arena where, like, you get three people who are really good and then one person who's, like, a 100-rated player who's played, like, like five games of Agricola and, and has won zero of them. And then the person sitting right after them just gets hooked up with, like, insane good actions. Um, and it, it's ridiculous. I can't fence anymore. Oh, true, but whatever. It's fine. Erratic or troll. Yeah, I mean, like, sometimes 145 rated players can play okay, and sometimes, but, like, the problem is that when you have a big ELO disparity in a game, and you're sitting down at a game where you are expecting people to behave in a certain way, like, it's it's very damaging to the entirety of the table if there is a player who's, who's hooking up someone else with good actions. It can also go the other way, which can also be frustrating when, like, you have one player that is, like, taking actions that, like, actively hurt a player, like, that's, that's next to them just because they can or something like that. I don't know. Like, that can also definitely happen. Um, all right, how do I get points here? Or is a point... Right? Boar's a point. Can't cow. Terrific players being too extra. Yeah, see, that can happen. That can easily happen. If you have, if everybody's around the same, like the same, like goodness of rating, and and people aren't like hooking each other up with stuff, then like I, I truly believe that's like the highest skill format. When you have three good players and one terrible player, a lot of times it could just be like, hey, are you seated in the right seat? And that sucks. Uh, well, it's like playing poker. Yeah, it's a little bit like playing poker. Uh, let me decide what I'm doing here. Hold on one second. One second. Um, how, okay, what, what is worth points here? Read, read. So I have four, seven, ten food. So I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven food. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. I have one extra food. Five food, I think, can be worth two points potentially. It's worth at least one point here, right? Because I can turn the grain into a point then if I take five food here. Yeah, I think the five food's actually my best action. I think being able to turn the grain into a point is actually, like, pretty huge for me. And this means that taking two reed into reed stone food, or reed stone food by itself becomes a point, I think, um, which is fine. I, I think this is worth a point, but it's, like, a point that takes food options away from uh, We Three Kings, which is fine. I mean, bumping it down to 200 ELO could help a little bit. Like, it could be a little bit helpful, but it's just, like, not... Um, I don't know. It's not... 
It, it could help. That could help a lot. I think that could help a lot. 100 ELO is like nothing. I mean, there's such a disparity in 100 ELO players, but like, like there are there are a lot of really, really weak players that, that play, especially like at the beginning of the season, there's a lot of really weak players that play Arena. And like the way that you rank up is you just farm these tables with like three super duper weak players who are the only strong player at the table and you can just farm those tables. Um, and then later on in the season, as those tables get rarer and rarer, it's like more and more risky to grind it out for extra rating points. Um, so two read is a point, read stone food's a point, boar is a point. Is boar a point for anybody else? I guess taking food options off the table is good, so we'll take food options off the table for people. Yeah, we'll just do this. Taking food options off the table is fine. I can hold all my animals right. Yeah, I don't have to hold a cow. I can put the sheep in there. Yeah, this is fine. We'll just take options away from other people. Um, but moving it up to 200 ELO could definitely help a lot. I, th I think that, like, 100 to 200 ELO is where you are making, like, very major mistakes very frequently. Like, I think that I, I think that you, you are just, like, like, if you're in that ELO range, you're making really big mistakes really frequently. If you are a little bit higher than that, you're not likely to, like, jeopardize your game at the very beginning and you're more likely to make a little bit better draft choices like like, like granted there is a big difference between like you know 250 elo and, and 500 elo there's a massive difference there but like at the very least the difference is like um you know it's it's not going to impact the rest of the game as much um i don't see any other ways to get points i don't really care to calculate it so yeah this is fine this is fine all right we're gonna see what what score we're getting here I don't actually know. It's going to be interesting. I, I don't feel like we're winning, but we could be. Who knows? Definitely uh, Green's game looks pretty good. As it turns out, day labor combos are pretty pretty sweet. But yeah, like it, it's so it makes playing arena very unpleasant sometimes when like you don't feel like you lose because like like if I play a game with like you know, like I like I play games with like like even this game. If I play this game, then like I, if I lose, I, I feel like I lost because it's something that I did. Like, like clearly, I, I probably didn't play perfectly. There's probably some things I did wrong. My freaking, um, you know, my feeding was really bad this game. It probably could have been a lot better. And if I had made my feeding a lot better, then probably I could have maybe won this game. It feels like there's, like, you know, opportunity for, for skill in different places that, like, I could improve. But then sometimes we play games on Arena where, like, a person just gets past really good cards because they're next to a really weak player in a draft who, who's like seen cards for the first time and hasn't played with them much and gets past really good actions and then there's just nothing you can do to beat that person it feels like like it, it's just like rough it's a rough feeling yeah there's a big difference in scoring 40 average and scoring 50 average i totally agree so also i feel like the better the players are in the game the more that me playing draft weirdly is going to work out better because like if i am relying on a card wheeling that is like a card that's really not valuable to many people then like that card's more likely to wheel at a table of good players who are going to be picking more normally or picking like in accordance with what's in the meta um as opposed to i have hold on one second i have so this is eight I think this is enough, right? So six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay, this is fine. I'll, I'll keep my resource tiebreak in case it matters. Got to optimize for resource tiebreak here. Um, but yeah, like, like it's it's more likely that those cards, those weird cards are going to come because a lot of people who have high elo have really good fundamentals. So like, I think that like when you're playing the higher the higher up tables with with like players who are better, it, get, it actually gives you more room to experiment because you don't get punished by not playing a standard play. Because I think that in, in tables with lower elo players, you can just punish them by just playing completely standard and, and it just completely punishes them. At a table with like a lot of high elo, low players playing standard is going to be something that people sort of know how to play around people know how to adapt to that and so you get a lot of rewards for playing non-standard like playing playing two rooms in a game with uh you know with with players who are good is a lot likely to be better if you know what you're doing as opposed to playing with lots of weaker players so all right let's see what happened jmc wins what was our score oh dude we we actually got a 59 there that's actually impressive that i got a 59 that game that's actually impressive i got a 59 that game actually very impressive oh yeah non-random economic question sure absolutely absolutely wow actually good game yeah super good game honestly i'm pretty shocked about that i'm shocked that that was pretty high score yeah that was a really high scoring game um 
I'm shocked that I got a 59 there, actually. I'm pretty shocked about that. I didn't feel like this was a 59-point game. It didn't feel, really feel like a 59-point game, but yeah. 